Hello, good evening, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening, Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay, that's fantastic. I am very happy to see you once again, to have the opportunity to be here with you in another class. Okay, let me just turn on this thing. There you go. Excellent for you or for us? Uh, well, for, for me, it, it's very nice because I can see you. I can be with you once again. I can share a little bit. And for you, for sure, because we share, we have a class together. So we learn, we advance. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Ana Yancy. How are you? I am fine. I, I, how do you say, triste? <laughs> You're sad. Why? Eh, ayer no pude tener la clase, mucha lluvia y se fue la luz. Ahora tengo mal el internet por mucha lluvia también. No puedo poner el, este, la cámara. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Don't worry. Ok, fantastic. Then, let me just give me one second. Okay, good. So we're going to start today. Today is our last class and we're going to be working on uh, personality traits. I sent you a power, well, I sent you an image on the chat. Did you check it? Tuvieron la oportunidad de revisarla? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. So we are going to work on this one. Uh, and uh, the personality traits are different behaviors, right? Different behaviors that we can have uh, at the moment of working, at the moment of being professional. Uh, so we include all this when we discuss and we talk about or different abilities, right? So we're going to use them right now. Yesterday, we were talking about what? Uh -huh. ¿De qué hablamos el día de ayer? Uh -huh. Who can tell me a little bit of what we studied yesterday? Use gerunds. Exactly, the use of gerunds, right? The use of gerunds. Can you give me one example of how to use a gerund? Can you give me examples on how to use gerunds? I like working all day. I like working all day. Very good. Another example on how to use the gerunds? I am watching the laptop. I am watching the laptop, right? I am watching, watching, because if you say washing, you are cleaning it, right? I am watching the laptop, good. Another example on how to use the gerunds. Teacher, how do you say ladrando? Barking. Uh, my dog is barking. My dog is barking. Good, very good. So based on this one, I am going to give you some examples here with some pictures. How can you create an example with, I like, I don't like, I don't mind, I enjoy with this picture? How can we create an example with a gerund and this picture? I am going to stop sharing here for you to be able to see it. Uh -huh. Can you up? Okay, it's right Please. here. Ah, okay. Cooking. I give like me, cooking. give me one complete sentence. I like cooking, right? I cooking. like cooking what? Oh, uh, the dinner. I like cooking dinner. Good, very good. What about this one? Oh, I, I like playing the play piano. piano. I like playing the piano. Good. Oh. 
I love traveling. I love traveling. Good. Another example. I like shopping. I like to go shopping. Very good. That's a good I one. Like what about shopping. this one? I like the painter. Mm, so, so. I like Create. painting my house. I like painting my house. Good. What about this one? I like to play with guitar. Aha, uh -huh, but with a gerund? Uh, I play guitar. I like playing the guitar, right? Or I enjoy playing the guitar. What about I, this one? Oh, no, this one. I like singer. Mm, look at this one. No, 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 no. Uh, peinar. For the ladies, something that you really enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy. Going where? Going where? 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 Going to the hair salon. I enjoy going to the hair salon. Let me see. What about this one? I love dancing. dancing. I love dancing. Good. I love dancing. Let's see. Uh, what about? Uh, okay, this one. What about this one? Singer. I, I love singer. I love singing. Right. I love singing. What about this one? I love swimming. I love swimming. I, love swimming. I enjoy acting. I enjoy acting. Very good. I really love biking. Biking. Good. Very good. And let's see the last one. Uh, let me see. This one. I love the flowers. I love, but give me the germ. I love. What is the germ for this? Selling flowers. I love flowers. selling flowers or buying flowers, right? I love buying flowers. Yeah. Or in some cases, just getting them, just because. Good. Thank you very much, my dear students. I am going to, okay, stop this one. And I am going to go back here where I was sharing my screen. Good. Excellent. I shared yesterday a little chart that you were supposed to complete about different situations. How do you feel about? How do you feel about doing homework, washing the dishes, mm -hmm. cleaning your room, making phone calls, washing your clothes, organizing your desk, typing your school reports, buying groceries, ironing your clothes and commuting to and from a school. So you can say in this case, to complete the sentence as you can say, I enjoy doing homework. I don't mind doing homework or I hate doing homework, right? That's the way you are going to complement the different sentences. You are going to replace it by any of the phrases here, okay? Because you cannot say, I enjoy it doing homework because that will be giving two different subjects at the same time and that's not correct. So you are going to omit enjoy it I don't mind it, I hate it, because I need you to create complete sentences. And you are going to tell me, I enjoy doing homework, I don't mind doing homework, or I hate doing homework. How do you feel about the first one, Mr. Milton? Do I, doing your homework. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that? Do you enjoy, you I enjoy. don't mind, or you hate? I enjoy. So give me the complete sentence. I I enjoy working uh, working my homework. I enjoy doing 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 my homework. My homework, very good. Let's see, Mr. Julio. What about the second one? Okay. Washing the dishes. Really, I enjoy 
washing the dishes. You enjoy washing the dishes? Yeah, this is really? my assignment at home. Uh, and, and why do you like it? I don't know. It's about it's something like relaxing. It's relaxing. Yeah, it's like yeah. you don't need a psychologist. Just wash yeah. the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you think about everything. It, it's necessary sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, it's like <laughs> you say, está llorando. No, es el agua de los platos. <laughs> that's good that's good honestly in my case i hate washing the dishes but uh, i have to do it right anyway i, I always hate, say uh -huh. i hate uh, cooking ah okay and that's a balance yeah. <laughs> that's a balance definitely let's see the rest anna romero do you like washing the dishes No, I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Marlon? I don't. Catherine? I don't. Heidi? Uh, I enjoy this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you are Julio's team. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, good. You are Julio's team. And Milton, do you like washing the dishes? Yes, I enjoy it. Okay, so you see? Yeah, there are some themes for sure. What about the next one? Catherine, cleaning your room. Do you enjoy, don't mind, or hate? I don't mind cleaning your room. Cleaning? Cleaning your room. No, you are talking uh, about you. Cleaning my room. Clean, cleaning my room. Okay, because I'm hablando del tuyo. But if you want to clean my room, that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I always say that. I always say that to my husband. Yo le digo a mi esposo, es que la muchacha nunca limpia. Ya la voy a despedir. Yo soy la muchacha. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the next one? Making phone calls. Uh, let me see. Marlon, what about this one? What is your position about it? I don't mind making phone calls. I don't mind. Very good. Heidi, washing your clothes. I enjoy washing my clothes. I enjoy washing my clothes. Me too. I like separating and putting. And, yes, and the I, colors. <laughs> I love that. Do good. I am normal. I, I am happy because of that. And Ayansi, organizing your desk. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Very good. Mr. Diomesis. Typing your school reports. Do you enjoy it? You don't mind it or you hate it? Hey, I lost Mr. Diomesis. I saw him for a second. Let's see. Uh, okay, Catherine. Type in your school reports. Uh, I don't, I don't mind keeping you, keeping my school reports. Very good. Milton, buying groceries. I like, uh, I enjoy buying, buying groceries. Me too. Right. I, I enjoy going to the supermarket, but alone. I enjoy going to the supermarket alone. Not because when I when I go to the supermarket with my husband, he is like, let's let's hurry up. It's late. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he's he's pushing me yeah. to, to hurry up. And I just enjoy walking around and checking all, the offers. All time. Yeah, I, I really love to take my time. But my husband, it's like, hey, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, chop, chop. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> So that's why I go alone. What about I the agree, next? I agree with you, teacher. You see? Esposos del mundo, no apuren a sus esposas en el super, por favor. Ironing your clothes. What does that mean? What does that huh? mean, ironing? Ironing. Planchar. Ah, okay. Thank you. I hate ironing I... my clothes. <laughs> Me too. But it's necessary. I hate it. You hate it. Yes. I hate I think everybody hates it. I too. <laughs> and what about the men? Uh, I hate. You hate it. 
I mean, yeah. there is no purpose on ironing. Tan pronto como te la pones, se arruina. It's like, what's the purpose? I mean, if it's not necessary, save the planet. And then last one, commuting to and from school. Let's see, and this is for everybody. You can answer. Do you uh, enjoy it, don't mind, or you hate it? I don't mind. Commuting. You don't mind? Good, very good. That's fantastic, I right? Thank it. You hate it. <laughs> yes, it's very difficult, but it's necessary. So here I have some other examples and I have some sentences and it says, I enjoy working with working in sales. So what do you think it's the correct answer? Well, I can, do I. neither do I or so do I. Do I. So do I, right? Because you have a normal verb and you go and complement it with it. I like working night shifts. Gee, I don't. Neither do I or neither am I. Gee, I don't. Gee, I don't, right? Because it's not a negative thing, right? I can't stand getting to work late. I can't, neither can I, or well, I do. Neither can I. Neither can, neither I. can I, right? Ni yo tampoco. It's a very horrible thing, right? Imagine if you enter at eight in the morning and you feel like, ah, five to eight. Ush, and then you start getting worried. I am interested in using my language skills. So am so I. I. So oh, am I. I don't, or I don't mind. So am I. So am because I. you have the verb to be, right? You have the verb to be in I am, so for sure. So am I. And I am interested that you use your language skills as well as soon as possible. And you are doing it, and that's fantastic. Yeah. Ahora hablan mucho más que el día que los conocí. <laughs> yeah. So, I have some, uh, well, I am going to go first here. It says, I like meeting people, but I am a little shy. On the job or on the school? What are some things that you can mention? On the job, something that I like is helping others. What is something that you like on your job? Here you have, I like meeting people. I like helping others. What do you like on your job? I like to speak with my coworkers. Speaking with my coworkers, good. What else? I like work out. I like working out. I like working out. Good. What else? I, I like is the, the, the lunch, my partners. So, okay. In, in this case, I like sharing, sharing lunch time with my partners. Okay. What about the others? Uh huh. What I are other like, things? I like solving problems. I like solving oh. other people's problems. Good, very good. What else? Can you continue? I like watching TV. <laughs> At your job. Algo que te guste hacer en el trabajo. Ajá. O tenés tele en el trabajo. Qué chico. <laughs> I like yes. take, taking and uh, drinking my coffee. Ah, oh, yeah, I like drinking coffee as well. I like drinking my coffee. So do I. Yes. Let's see. I it's can't. A... Uh huh. Catherine, go ahead. What is it? something that you like about your job? Okay, something that you can't stand. Oh, se volvió Catherine, yay. Catherine, nos dijiste algo, pero te quedaste trabado y no te escuchamos. Uh, uh, I have in the restaurant, I uh, eat TV. Oh, that's so mm. nice. There is a TV in the restaurant. I like watching TV. That's so nice. In my job, I don't have a TV. I just watch the series on my phone. <laughs> What about the next one? Something that you can't stand in your job. 
I can't stand repeating things more than one time. Eso sí no lo soporto. I can't stand repeating things more than one time. If I gave an order, it has to be the first time and that's it. What is something that you can't stand in your job? I can't stand losing a saw. Losing a? Saw? A what? Ah, a sale. A sale. Okay. Sale. Good, very losing good. Losing a sale. A sale, yes. And something that you don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind sharing my ideas. What is something that you don't mind? Que está bien, que no te molesta. I don't mind working all day. I don't mind working all day. Good. What else? I don't mind working overtime. I don't mind working overtime if it's pay. <laughs> Let's it's see. Cool. Of course. <laughs> Uh, and in your free time, in your free time, in your general life, I am interested in, in your free time, I am interested in playing sports, reading. playing sports, reading, good. Reading a good book. Reading a good book, very nice. Listening to music. Listening to music, very good. What else? I am interested in learning new things in my free time. I am not interested in, in my free time, I am not interested in fighting about politics, for example. I'm like, not interested in movie the terror. In horror movies, in watching horror movies. That's good, that's good. What is something that you are not interested in, in your free time? Uh -huh. I'm not interested in watching novelas. In watching soap operas, soap operas. Soap operas. I am going to send it on the chat. In watching soap operas. So, I'm no not interested in hearing, hearing a problem, teacher. In? Hearing a problem. I'm not interested in hearing a problem. Hearing a problem, right? You don't want to listen to problems in your free time. It's like, I am in my free time. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yo siempre les digo, no me traigan problemas, traiganme soluciones. That's the only thing. At parties or in social situations, I am good at talking, dancing, and cooking. Eating. <laughs> and eating. At parties, you are good at drinking a beer. <laughs> drinking. <laughs> well, it's free. Someone said free. <laughs> I am not very good at uh, talking a lot with people. I mean, if there is music, if there is a dancing hall, I don't want to be sitting on the on the table just talking. I want to go to the dance floor and move the body, right? What is something that you are not very good at in the parties or in social situations? Huh? I'm not very good at dancing. At dancing, okay. So you are the one that sits and talks. I what about eat eating? <laughs> What about decorating? Who is good at decorating? No, I am not. So you say, I am not good. I am not very good at decorating. I am I not. Am not uh -huh. I, I am not very good at organizing the party. Organizing. Organizing oh, parties. Organizing. Oh, organizing. Okay. Yes. It's like, ¿y el hielo? Ah, querían hielo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the gas station. <laughs> I am not very good at. Okay, I am not very good at uh, what? Uh, um, I think I love parties. I am. I try to be good at 
every single detail. I really love to plan. Okay, so who is good at singing karaoke? Mm. Uh -huh. So if in the party they say, y ahora se abre el karaoke, eh, ¿quién es el primero que corre? I am not. <laughs> so you are not very good. Okay. Entonces no le puede prestar el micrófono. Yo soy la que lo agarraría. <laughs> Ahí go and run. And I say, ¿cuál quieren? ¿Cuál quieren? And I think everything. So those are the things that you can consider at your job, in your free time, or in social situations. That you are good, that you are not very good, or that you are interested in the different things. So... Today, I sent you an image about the personality traits that are uh, like characteristics or adjectives for personality. And these ones are especially made for uh, the different uh, job areas, right? We have bad temper, and we have a picture here, right? Uh, that type of boss that you say like, hey, no, mejor no le hablo. <laughs> bad temper, that he's always angry, right? Creative, a person who is always coming with something new, something nice, very, you, are, you really enjoy, right? Critical, critical, it's a person that is very analytical, that it's a very, a person who thinks about everything and you are almost always a little bit afraid of this type of person. Disorganize. Everything is a chaos. Disorganize. Disorganize. It's like, what happened here? Come on. Ah. We have also efficient. That's a person that it's, as in good Spanish, you have chispudo, buzo, efficient, right? Forgetful. I, I did, I did. Really? For today? Ah, oh my God, I forgot it. Forgetful. Generous. Generous is a person who gives without asking for it back, right? Hardworking. It's a person who works a lot and who works well, right? That's a hardworking person. Impatient. And this has my name next to it, right? Impatient. And you are like, Hard work. Impatient is like you want everything for yesterday, right? Level-headed, level-headed is a person who thinks correctly even on critical situations, okay? Cuando todo se nos sale la loca de la cabeza, the level-headed person is the one who says like, okay, take it easy. Let's think, let's analyze that you are on your mind. Moody. Moody is a person that is very happy right now and very angry in the next minute. And very happy and very sad and angry and crazy. So it's very changing. And so like, bipolar, ah. teacher. B bipolar. Well, you know, bipolar, you know that it's angry and happy. Only that. But moody can be like, Amable, y después enojada, y después eh, gritona. Multi, multipolar. <laughs> multipolar. <laughs> That's a very good description, definitely. Moody, you never know, right? Y ahí, y ahí surge aquella pregunta de, ¿cómo anda vos? ¿Cómo anda aquella? It's like, mm, no, mejor no te le acerques. The moon teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, she's, not, she's in the moon, right? She's not in her moon. Punctual. A person who likes to be on time. Reliable is a person that you can trust. De confianza. Que puedes confiar en ella. And a strict. Hmm, a person who likes to do everything in the perfect way. A strict, right? Like teacher Nati. I'm very strict. Right? I'm always there bothering people. So those are some of the adjectives that we have for this thing. Now. How can we analyze a little bit these ones? And how can we make, for example, couples? ¿Hay alguna que ustedes crean que sea el opuesto a la otra? At least for this one. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I, let's do something first. Which ones do you consider negative and which ones do you consider positive? Let's do it like that first. Negative, but tempered. But tempered is negative. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. In this case, but tempered. Level hard there. Okay, bad tempered is negative. Another negative? Level, level head, headed. Well, level headed, it's a person who thinks calmly I'm in good situations. Uh, not teacher Moody. Excuse uh, me, Moody. Moody. Moody, yes, it's negative. Another <laughs> one that it's I'm negative. Excited. Disorganized. Disorganized. Another one. Forgetful. 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 Impassion. Impatient, right? Impatient. What is another one that it's a negative? I think those those are negative. Critical. Positive? Oh, critical, right? Critical. Well, critical, it's kind of good and bad because in some cases it's good to be critical. So it can be a neutral. Es lo podemos dejar en neutral. And a strict, I think it's neutral. Hardworking. Hardworking, it's positive. Good. Another one positive. Crea crea creative. Creative. Generous. Generous. Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. 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 Efficient. Efficient. And for sure, level headed. Right? Level headed, it's a person who is always in the cold mind, right? Piensa con la cabeza fría. Level-headed. That's very good. So, in all these situations, which one apply for you? Leanlas todas y díganme cuáles adoptarían para ustedes. And you say, I am... I am punctual. Okay, and Ayansi says, I am punctual. Good. Let's go with uh, Sometimes Heidi. Sometimes I am huh? forgetful. Sometimes Marlon is forgetful. Good. Uh, I am teacher hardworking. Hardworking. Heidi is yes. hardworking. Good. Yes. Uh, I am impatient. Impatient, right? Good. Catherine. Catherine, Catherine. Maritza. Maritzita. Hello, hello, Maritza. Maritzita en todas las clases me ha dejado en visto. Ana Romero. I am hardworking. Hardworking. Being honest, who is bad temperer? ¿Quién es bravo? Aquí, bravo, enojado y de mal carácter. ¿Ah? Guilty sometimes. <laughs> guilty, right? You are guilty sometimes. In some cases, I think I am um, a little bit critical. And that's, that's difficult. And Moody, who is Moody? No one, no one, okay. So, no teacher. <laughs> no, no one, no one. Good, very good. So, now that you know this ones, okay, alguna pregunta, alguna duda acerca de estos y su significado? Level, level, level head. Level headed. Level headed. Level headed es que piensa con la cabeza fría. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Any other one? Reliable. Reliable. De confianza. Que puedes confiar en él o ella. Reliable. Okay. If not, we are going to move into the list that I send you. This is the list that I send you today. And in these ones, you have a lot more adjectives, right? When they mean that they are nice. They are mean, que son como malos, malvados. Sad, tristes, adjetivos tristes. Adjetivos positivos, negativos, de confianza. 
de cuando estás nervioso, que haces mucho, que no haces nada, y los que son opuestos. So here you have a whole world of possibilities. And you have here, bright, cheerful, yeah, you can do it, yeah, that's cheerful, right? Caring, hey, students, I need you to study, it's for your own benefit, right? Charming, it's like adorable, that's charming, right? Considerate, ah, don't worry, we're going to do it later, considerate. Delightful, que se disfrute estar con esa persona, she's delightful, right? Encouraging, que te motiva a ser mejor, right? Encouraging, vamos, tú puedes, dale, dale. Friendly, amigable, right? Kind, what is the meaning of kind? Amable. Amable, right? Likeable, likeable is a person that you like just to see it, right? That you enjoy being with the person. Loving, it's a very nice and lovely person, right? Peaceful, like the grandparents, right? A veces usted mira a los abuelitos ahí tan pacientes, tan llenos de paz. So you say, ah, that's peaceful. Pleasant. Pleasant is like that you really enjoy being with the person, right? Que es hasta placentero compartir con alguien así, right? Pleasant. Polite, amable, right? Respectful is the same as in Spanish. Sensitive, that the person cares about you, right? Sweet, like your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> thoughtful, thoughtful is that if you say something to this person, this person is going to help you, right? Que piensa, que piensa en todo, que piensa en ti, que siempre está pendiente. That's thoughtful. The next ones, angry. You know what that means, right? Angry. Bossy. What do you think bossy means? Mandón. Mandón, right? Cruel. Or, uh, dark, dark, right? yeah. dark, it's like ah, el que siempre hace algo ya con, con dolo, ya, de molestar al otro, that's dark. Disrespectful, que te falta el respeto, right? Evil, malvado. Harsh, it's like violento, malo, right? Hateful, is like uh, the person does something because he hates the others, right? Impolite, is the opposite of polite, right? Insensitive, right? Ragging, that makes you angry, right? Que hace las cosas para enojarte o que se enoja fácilmente. Ragging. Rude. Rude is like, a, how can I tell you this in Spanish? It's like tosco. Rude. Rudo. Right? Selfish. Selfish. Egoísta, egoísta right? Selfish. A spoiled. A spoiled is a malcriado. Malcriado, like the little kids, right? That they do everything because they really want it like that, that it's spoiled. The next one, you have thoughtless, que lo hace sin pensar en nadie, right? Uncaring, que no le importa nada. Uncaring, unfriendly, que no es amigable. Y unpleasant, que no es agradable estar con esa persona. And then you have the other ones that are to express sadness, right? Antisocial. It's like, gosh, gosh, I bien este. You say, comfortless, que te incomoda solo el hecho de que esté presente. Comfortless. Depressed, deprimido, down, con ánimos bajos. Friendless, que no tiene amigos. Gloomy, mm, that it's sad and always like, ah, ah qué horrible. Ah. Heartbroken, heartbroken. Con el corazón roto. Heavy hearted. It's a person that it's always, that always has guilt, right? Heavy hearted is like, sí, es que por mí, por mi culpa, yo soy el malo todo el tiempo. Hopeless, right? No, si ni no va a salir. Right? Que no tiene esperanza de nada. Isolated, que siempre está apartado de todos, a un lado. Lonely and lonesome. Yeah, siempre, siempre solos, right? Miserable. It's like exactly as in Spanish, right? Moody, I explained you what is it? Sorrowful, it's like, ah, que pobrecito yo, todo yo, pobrecito yo, el mundo no me quiere, right? Unhappy, and withdrawn, that it's like, ah, todo me sale mal, come on. And then we have these ones that are very common for all of you, 
right? And I think I don't have to explain many of them. Trustworthy is digno de confianza, okay? And I think the other ones, you know it. You know the meaning of them. Cooperative, calm, dependable, fair. Fair is justo, right? Honest, humble, que es eh, honrado. Mature, maduro. Patient, muy paciente. Responsible, right? And the opposite, cooperative, uncooperative, right? Calm, reactive. Reactive is like, ¿y por qué, pues? ¿Qué no sé qué? ¿Yo qué, pues? ¿Qué no sé qué? Ni le han dicho nada y ya está peleando. Okay, take it easy, right? Undependable. Dependable, undependable. Que no depende de nada. Que cree que puede hacerlo todo, right? Fair, unfair. Justo, injusto. Honest, dishonest, right? Humble, conceited. Conceited is like, it's full of himself. Immature, impatient. Irresponsible and untrustworthy. Untrustworthy is like que no es de confiar. And the next ones that we have here are, eh, for example, in this case, we have assertive, que es muy al punto, right? Asertivo, muy, muy, muy ordenado. Brave, valiente. Certain, que tiene las palabras justas. Courageous, bravo, valiente. Fearless sin miedo, independent, and sure about himself. And then you have the contrary, anxious, right? Concerned, afligido, right? Fearful, lleno de miedo, hesitant. Sí, hagámoslo. No, mejor no. Mejor sí. Or, ay, no, mejor no. No, no, mejor no, mejor no. And you doubt a lot, right? That it's hesitant. The next one, uncertain. We never know. Uneasy, que no es fácil para nada, and unsure. It's like, ah, sí, yo creo que sí es. No, no, quizás no. Right, unsure, that you are never sure about what you are doing. And for sure, these ones are uh, opposites, like what we were studying, right, the opposites. And a person who does a lot is active, adventurous, ambitious, que quiere muchas cosas, bold, es despiadado, right? Busy, eh, ocupado, energetic, and hardworking. Those were the ones that we were studying today. A mí siempre me gusta darles como un poco más de vocabulario para que también sus horizontes no se queden chiquititos en un solo vocabulario y se expandan un montón a conocer más cosas. So that's why I wanted to share these ones with you. And now, if I ask you, how do you describe yourself? You don't tell me, I am kind. Okay, ahora ya pueden escoger muchas más cosas de cómo describirse. You say like, I am cooperative, I am humble, I am assertive, I am adventurous, I am funny, glamorous, polite, respectful, and you can expand your vocabulary to describe your own personality. Okay, so talking about this one, we are going to work on this exercise. I need you to match the one that you consider is the opposite, okay? What do you consider is the opposite of friendly? And you have here the options. Unfriendly. 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 What is the opposite of hardworking? Lazy. Lazy, right? What is the opposite of interesting? Interesting. Boring. Boring, right? Boring. What is the opposite of level-headed? Mm. Alguien que siempre está centrado en sus sentimientos. What would be the opposite? Moody. Moody, right? Very good. Patient. And patient. Impatient. 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 What about quiet? Mm. Outgoing. Outgoing, right? Outgoing. And reliable? Forgetful, right? Forgetful. Right? No es de confiar porque todo se le olvida. Right? It's not reliable. Good. Let me see. I am going to go on this one. And here we are going to complement the sentences with a specific adjective. And it says, I need one volunteer to read the sentence. Who can help me? 
Read the first one. Sam doesn't smile or loud a lot. He often looks worried. About <laughs> things. Uh, about things, he is very serious. Serious person? He is a very serious person. He doesn't smile or laugh. He always looks worried about things. He's a very, well, serious it can be, but I will say strange. <laughs> He's a very strange person. Si nunca se ríe por nada y siempre está como preocupado. I think it's a very strange person. Or serious, right? Depending. The next one. Thank you very much, Julio. Who can help me to read number two? Ana Romero, go ahead. You can trust Rosa if, this, if she says she's going to do something. She'll do it. She is very... Re Relate. Relate. She's very reliable, right? She's very reliable because if she does, if she's going to do something, she does it. Good, very good. The next one. Who can help me with number three? Okay, who can help me with number three? Thank you, Marlon. Go ahead. <laughs> Joy isn't good at remember, remembering things. Last week, he missed another important business meeting. He's so forgetful. forgetful. He's so forgetful. Very good. Let's see. He's, he's not good at remembering. <laughs> it's not good at remembering things. He's so forgetful. Good. Very good. The next one, right? Uh, here, I have another example. And here we go. Okay. And in this one, we don't have options, but you can give me one adjective that you consider that fits in this situation. It says, Sanji, it's an person. She really enjoys meeting new people. A what adjective? Person. Okay. A kind person. It can be. What other adjective do you think we can use? Here you have a collection of them. Friendly. A friendly, good. But which one can you use with an? An, and here we have the options, right? Up. Out, outgoing. 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 Very good. Outgoing. She is an outgoing person. Es muy amigable, amable y todo. She is an outgoing person. The next one. I can't stand working with people. Okay. It says, I can't stand working with people in I like having reliable co-workers. Uh -huh. I can't stand working with, and I am going to go back here. Which one do you consider it's necessary here? I like having reliable co-workers. Me gusta tener trabajadores que sean confiables. So which one do you think? Forgetful. Forgetful, right? Forgetful. Very good. The next one. Becky is very... One day she's happy and the next day she's sad. Moody. Moody. Right, Moody. Philip is an person. I am never bored when I talk to him. Interesting. An interesting person. Very good. I am never bored when I, when I talk to him. So in the practice time, we're going to finish this uh, class with a, a little bit about the clauses with because. How do you use because in the clauses? 
you use it to include more information to the original sentence. And I can say, I enjoy being a teacher because I love languages and I love talking with people, right? I am giving you a reason with because, right? I am giving you a reason with because. Introduces a cause or a reason when you use because, okay? And the options that we have here, you say, I will make a good journalist, right? Yo sería un buen reportero. I will make a good journalist because I love the chambre, you will say. <laughs> I will make a good journalist because I am good at writing. I, I will make a good journalist because I am always uh, worried about the new things. I could be a teacher because I am very creative. Right? I could be a teacher because I read a lot and because I, I know a lot. That, that can be an example. And someone can say, I could be a teacher because I am good with kids. I am good with people, right? And the other ones are to say that it, you will never be good at something, right? Estas dos son para expresar que podríamos ser buenos con algo y por qué. Y estas dos son ¿Por qué no seríamos buenos en algo? I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I am very impatient. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I am very moody, you can say. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I am very boring, right? You're like, oh, oh my God, right? I could never be a stockbroker, right? Because I can't make decisions quickly. A stockbroker es un corredor de bolsa, right? I could never be, and this is a real answer, I could never be a doctor because I am bad with blood. I will die next to the person. So tell me one thing that you consider that you could be good at and one thing that you consider that you could never be. Okay, dos profesiones que ustedes consideran que pudieran ser buenos para ella y por qué, y una que no pudieran ser buenos para ella y también por qué. Uh -huh. Share your examples. I make a good engineer because I am good with the numbers. Very good. I will make a good engineer because I am good with numbers. Excellent. And I one could never you... be a doctor because I can... Um, I, how do you say? Curar. Heal. Heal people. You can't heal people. Right? You can't heal people. Very good. Let me see. Anayansi, give me one profession that you will be very good at. Um, I did make a good um, nurse. Uh -huh. um, ah, por qué? Um, I like interacting uh, con the, with the persons. With, uh, okay, with the people, right? You like interacting with people. And one that you wouldn't be good at? I would not want to be teacher. Why? Uh, I not, uh, how do you say, enseñar? Teach. Teach. You can't teach. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Yeah. Well, that's good, right? That's good. Okay, thank you, Jancy. Very good examples. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Mr. Julio, give me one that you would be good and one that you wouldn't be good at. I could be... Um, driver boss, maybe? A bus because, driver? Bus driver, sorry, because I am a very good driver. Hey, that's good. Yeah. And the negative? 
I could never be a doctor because I hate the blood. Okay, that makes two of us. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. Let's see. Tito, what is your example? Mr. Tito. If not, Mr. Milton. Uh, I make a good uh, architect, teacher. Architect? Architect. Because I'm good uh, drawing. You oh, know? that's good. You're good at drawing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. I like it. That's very nice. And I could never be a doctor because I hate the sangre. The blood. <laughs> that the makes blood, three doctors. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, three doctors for you. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Heidi. What are your examples? How do you say vendedora teacher sales woman? Sales woman, eh? Yeah. Okay. I want uh, to be a sales woman because in the, how do you say, no puedo cobrar. <laughs> I can ask for the money. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. That's the most difficult part. And I say like, ay, cómo me, cómo me gustaría de verle a la gente para pagar. <laughs> so that's a very good strategy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see. I am going to go with the last example. Mr. Okay, we go with, uh, no, let's go with Miss. Miss Ana Romero, give me your example. Anita, Anita Romero. There you go. I could be a, I could be an, sorry. Don't worry. I could be a, an engineer because I, I'm good at the numbers. Oh, that's good. Very good. And one profession that it's not for you? Uh, I could never be a secretary because I hate uh, Stan. <laughs> you hate, uh, uh huh? Estado, no sé. ah, I hate being sitting. I hate being sitting. Good, very good. Excellent examples, my dear students. So here I have a little part on which we have to make a match. And it says, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. I wouldn't want to be a nurse. And we have to choose an option. Why? I wouldn't want to be a nurse because. Because I don't because like hospitals. I don't like because I don't like hospitals, right? I will never be a novelist. Because no. I knew creative writing. Ah, I will I would like to be a novelist because I love creating writing, creative writing. I could never be an accountant. Because I'm terrible with numbers. Because I am terrible with numbers. Right? And I will make a bad waiter. Because I have a terrible memory. Because I have a terrible memory. It's like, ¿Qué me pidió? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I could be a flight attendant. Because I really enjoy traveling. Because I really enjoy traveling, right? That is a very good thing, right? I think that I could never be uh, a musician. I could never be a musician because I don't have coordination with my brain and my hands. I, I, I am bad at that, at playing instruments. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be a very good musician. So, and this was the questions that I was asking you uh, right now. I could never be because I wouldn't mind working as a because. I will make a good because. And you were giving me your examples. Well, my dear students, 
I have here. Uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow we are going to go over the platform. Ok, mañana la clase va a, a tratar de hacer la plataforma. Vamos a hacer unos cuantos ejercicios que tenemos ahí. Así que eh, los espero a todos porque también vamos a ver lo de los certificados y que todo esté correcto. Ok, el jueves tenemos presentaciones. Don't forget. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.